it's over here. That looks fancy. Come on. I think it's this one. Hello? Anybody home? Where's the door? Oh. Knock, knock. Hello? Is this a doorbell? Ding dong? Oh! <gasps> Uh, give me just a second. Just cleaning mm -hmm. something up. All right, and all right. Check and clean. Remember. Hello. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hey. Uh. I. You're Marshy, right? Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, <laughs> glad to glad to remember your name. I wanted to ask you something. Come in. Come in. Come in. You don't mind if the dog comes in? No, I don't mind. Okay. I don't mind at all. Come on. Alright, then take a seat over there. Whew, just cleaning up a few things. Nice place you got here, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> Anyways, you said you wanted to ask something, right? Yeah. Um, well, kind of two things, actually. Uh, first, uh, I never really understood what happened at the trial thingy. Hmm. Well, that's, uh, that's definitely a can of worms that, uh, that for the most part, I try not to mention a lot, but... Oh, uh, you don't have to talk about it. If it makes you uncomfortable, I was just a little curious. Well, it's all in the past anyways. What's done is done, right? I guess, yeah. And after all, I did see you there, so you probably deserve an explanation. Hmm. Well, I guess, uh, I guess I can say where things truly began is when we all got here. As you might know, every single one of us just appeared here one day. Hmm. No recollection of what happened, no recollection of what could even happen. I think, I think your dog is hungry. Eat, eat. I'm sorry, I thought you ate before we left. Here, have have more, have more, have more. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> if you ever need extra food for the little guy, just let me know. It's fine. Sometimes he gets too excited and forgets to eat. <laughs> well, as with what I was saying... <sighs> I guess the real problem started to arise when we realized that we were in this empty world. And well, because of that factor, we don't have any leading authoritative figures. No government, no police, no law enforcement. And well, that's where all hell broke loose. Apparently one day, some person, not entirely sure who or why, decided to start stealing people's items. And oh. to this day, to this day, people are still hypothesizing that the thief is still out there, but in my honest opinion, I don't think Did you that was even find the case. Them? <laughs> there was nothing to be found to begin with. Oh. The reason people's items were quote-unquote stolen is because of the fact that people misplaced a lot of things. I myself was affected in the process. An axe that I... Worked my ass off to grind for. It was abruptly stolen from me. And well, days after the trial, I found it underneath my bed. And well, that's not uncommon for me to do. I like to leave a lot of things under my bed. And it's just instinct. It's a habit. But of course, a lot of people still think... A lot of people still think that uh, things were different. Here, you might want to take these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Dog specifically likes steak. Anything like beef related. You like that? He likes it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. That's good. But what does this have to do with the trial? Well, my sister, who you know as the queen now, mm -hmm. enlisted the help of two individuals to try to help find whoever did all of this. Because obviously a lot of people wanted answers and well... That was also a big mistake. Not on my sister's part, nonetheless, but 
on the fact that we had no structured system. They were planning on <laughs> holding a trial for whoever it was in a, in a place that doesn't even have laws yet. So, as you can see, things turned out to be very disastrous. The people in question are the Royal Guardsman Lee, who <sighs> used to be a person by the name of Grimes. And to this day, I still don't have a nice taste for them because of what they did. Oh. And well, the other was my son, who is, by all intents and purposes, not with us anymore. They're not dead or anything, but oh. Oh. they were exiled. I'm sorry. Hmm. It's still a little too late for apologies. And even then, you weren't kept in the loop, but moving on from that. Yeah. My sister entrusted the both of them with this case. And well, by some sort of miracle or curse or whatever you want to call it, my son, Danny, allegedly found everyone's stolen items. There's something about a hidden chest in Anime Land, which is where I used to live with my, uh, well, no. wife at the time, is what I should say. And well, immediate blame was casted all over me. I was sought after, arrested, thrown in a jail cell. Conveniently, the same jail cell that was used for horrific experiments that a race known as the Illagers did to all of our villagers. And I was treated horribly for days. Nothing but breadcrumbs and a little bit of water. I guess that's what it takes to survive, but I wish I was dead at that point. Mm -hmm. And while it didn't make it any better when I got to the trial, there I was ridiculed, given the strange looks, the looks of disappointment. And well, lo and behold, all of it didn't even happen, as the evidence that my son claimed to have found was never proven to exist. They sent out my three... My three little... My two... My two... My two nephews... Not, not nephews... Dang, I can't think straight. My two nieces, Kitty and Angel, and my nibbling, Noi. Well, they came in and concluded that the evidence didn't exist after being sent out to retrieve it. So the entire trial went into shambles. Danny effectively lied to everybody about everything. And well, what made it all worse is the fact that if I was found guilty... I was to be executed. Jeez. And well, this didn't go unnoticed. I was proven innocent. And well, my son had to face the wrath of his punishment, which was exile. Which, apparently some people think is what I wanted. Which they'd be wrong. What did you want? I just wanted them to understand. But it appears that everybody else doesn't understand. And that's why things are changing, unfortunately. Oh. I was left alone for days, humiliated, oh. starved. And no one could help me. That's horrible. I'm sorry. Don't be. You weren't part of the people that tried to cast me aside. So I have no reason to blame you for anything. But if people ask me why... Why I've changed... Just know that that's the reason. It's a very tough world out there. And we're only just now getting into lawmaking... To prevent these things from happening again. Courtesy of our only authoritative figures... And that's entirely it. That's what happened at the trial. The first trial of the new world and... Someone... 
was almost killed. Well, at least it didn't go on that far. At least no one died. Yeah. Things could have been better, but at least it wasn't the worst case scenario. Well, unfortunately, I guess you can say some people just never forget the past, and that's exactly why we have a big issue at the moment. Mm. But oh well. Um, that's just how it's gonna work. Does that does this trial thing have anything to do with what may have happened at the party? Hmm. Well, I don't suppose you were at the meeting recently of the New World Order, so I'll fill you in on everything. Concerning the fact that you do live here and you are amongst the trusted individuals that my sister takes a liking to. Unfortunately, you may have seen some wanted posters being posted around. Yeah. Several individuals have, well, been marked for a bounty. And, well, there's a reason for that. You see, at the ball, my sister intended that the ball would be an event where everybody would at least put their differences aside and get along. For the longest time, some people had this lingering image about my sister being the true face of evil. So she wanted to reassure everyone. And, well, some people, I guess, only reassured us. My sister was slipped a note by a trusted source, stating that our cousin, Sky, was a traitor and was the leader of some sort of rebellion that was taking place. And we had heard rumors about this rebellion, but we didn't think it was ever going to be a thing. But I guess our gut instinct told us otherwise, as this was confirmation. So as soon as I took a look at the note, I rallied up the royal guards that were there and, well... We went in to make an arrest for questioning. And well, that's when Sky decided to run. And if that didn't already prove them guilty of something, then I guess the arrows flying at us and being pushed into water would have proven something else, because that's what happened next. We took Chase outside the ball. We didn't want to at least cause a stir inside the ball. And well, that's when these other people came out of nowhere and started t attacking us shooting at us, pushing us in the water, like I said. Amongst those people were some desert dweller by the name of Everett, who uh, is no longer amongst us. What, what happened to them? That's a story for another day, unfortunately. Sometimes, sometimes not everybody can ask to be not caught in the crossfire. And well, amongst all other people, a reliable source, a friend that I trusted with anything that I could ever say by the name of Ona was amongst those rings too. Amongst the people that decided to turn against us. We give them everything. And they throw it all away. And well, obviously, Sky was amongst them as well. And they're the leading cause of all of these problems. And last but certainly not least, one of my only sons, by the name of Davern. Oh. Hmm. You truly don't know how heartbreaking it is to discover that your own bloodline has turned against you and is now in immediate danger. You've been through a lot. Yeah, and I wish people could see that, but unfortunately that's not how it's going to play out. And I'll tell you exactly what I told my ghost friend is that you should be very very careful nowadays oh and well at the meeting we basically presented everything the rebellion and well 
I gave everybody in that that room a choice. Because at this point, trust is very scarce. And who knows, somebody from the rebellion could have been listening. I, I have a feeling about it. But I made them have a choice. You could live your life in fear, wanted, having to worry about maybe getting killed in the night or arrested. Or you can stop the madness. And well, I think I managed to get a lot of people on our side, but things are only going to get more difficult from here, unfortunately. And that includes people like you and myself. And well, if we're really talking the limits, little guys like this one, things will get much more tougher from here, Marshine. So understand that as your neighbor and as your vice president and everything, I'll do everything in my protection or in my power to protect you. My sister likes you. And well, a lot of other people like who you are here. And well, if my sister trusts you, then I trust you myself. That means you're under my protection. And well, the Royal Guards as well. I don't want to see anything bad happen to our allies and our friends, even if that means if I have to kill someone for it. Let's hope then, that it never gets to that point. But, but in the meantime, the reality of things, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, Oliver, in the meantime, all we can do is wait, prepare, pray, and hopefully find a solution to these problems. Yeah. Um, you mentioned a ghost friend? I think I saw them at the party, but I don't know if I ever formally introduced myself to them. Ah, uh, I see. Well, I guess I have a little bit of spare time. I can take you down to where they are, and you can finally introduce yourselves to them. They work at the library that's here in Haven. Okay, that would be great. Who knows, you might find a story in there that you might like. After all, everything and every story in there is 100% accurate to real history, especially in our, uh, weird, uh, <laughs> weird calamity that we like to call our universe. Yeah. There's a lot of things to learn about this place, which, in my opinion, is actually pretty exciting. <laughs> Honestly, you're one of the first people to even say something like that. Some people have still not accepted that the fact that the gods exist, specifically the Greek pantheon. It's... Well, everything you need to know about them is in that library. After all, it's being sacredly guarded and, well, protected by Apollo. Oh? <laughs> the god of knowledge himself. You see, when the gods came down, then came the boons and the deals. Because engaging with the gods can go one of two ways. And well, if they like you and everything, if you have a good standing with them, you could be blessed by everything that they could ever have. Such as knowledge, which is exactly what this library is a symbol of. Before we go down there, I'm going to have to have you read the rules first, because I don't know if you've been down here. Oh, rules? Okay, uh... <laughs> These rules were written by Apollo themselves, and we want to respect them to the fullest extent. Okay. In order to keep the library up and running, in a well-respected shape of manner, all visitors are to read over and follow the, the following rules. Rule 1, all books in the library are to stay in the library at all times. Makes sense? Visitors are not allowed to take books home, nor steal them from the library itself. Please maintain a low-level voice. It is requested that all visitors maintain a low-level voice out of respect for the others who are reading. Disrespect of the gods or any other person is not allowed. Any down-talk of the gods or other visitors is not allowed under any circumstance. No destroying books or library property. Destroying property of the library will result in severe punishment. And lastly, no business shall be conducted in the library. Any and all matters that are not involved with the library should not be conducted here. Okay. Seems easy enough to follow. Mm hmm Oops. Those rules were written by Apollo themselves. There's our 
communication towers commuter. And we have ourselves a mini, mini liar shrine. If you don't know what that says right there, that is Grecian for know thyself, nothing in excess. Oh. It's a, it's a quote that Apollo had etched in their temple when the old world was around. Well, it's quite the quote. So everything in here is, it has information about the old world? Well, not exactly the old world, but the history of when the gods were around. And each level is assigned a certain thing or a certain god. Oh. Over here, we have the goddess of love herself, Aphrodite, and the god of knowledge, Apollo. And well, we got several books in here as well. If you definitely want a long read, you should definitely read Eros and Psyche over there. But if you want something short and simple, there's other books around here. And well, we also have some other stuff, such as summoning, if you ever want to consult the gods of advice or maybe gifts or to ask questions. We always have those books here, but be very careful with them. Mm. We've had people misuse those books, and well, the gods don't necessarily take a liking to that. <laughs> Specifically Aphrodite. Ah. Then over here on level 4 we have Demeter and Dionysus. God of wine and goddess of nature. Well, also known as my mom. Oh? <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably hone you in on a secret. Amongst all of us, there are nine godborns. This is what the gods have told us. And well, effectively what that means is children of the gods. How do you know if you're one of them? Do they tell you? <laughs> well, if you find out, they'll tell you straight up. And well, me and my sister were the first ones to figure it out. Our mother is Demeter. And well, we're not just any godborns. We're godborns with famous names. Not entirely sure if you've ever heard the names Athena and Ares. I think so, yeah. Well, you're looking at one of them. You see, there's a reason, well, another reason why this library was created. Is that history itself has kind of been written out to protect certain people. And that's exactly what Apollo told us. Certain stories in Grecian times had to be fabricated in order to protect the identities of the godborns. So this library is supposed to help... Supposed to help bring the accurate stories to life. So everything in here is 100% accurate. Hmm. For example, Ares in one tale was abducted by two giants. And well... That story never happened because it was fabricated to protect my identity. Because I am Ares. You see what I mean? Oh, I see. <laughs> now, does that mean I have special powers or something? <laughs> well, I can't exactly lift a boat and chuck it across the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, not exactly. Hmm. But, yeah, everything about my my mother can be found here. Or at least as much as we can get out. There are books that are still being written here, so not everything's here. Level 5 is dedicated to Hera and Hades. Hera being the goddess of marriage and family and all that kinds of stuff. And Hades being the god of the dead, or the king of the underworld, who, in my honest opinion, is one of the most humble gods I think I've ever met. Mm. <laughs> He's not as scary as what people make him out to be. Trust me, give him a call sometime. You might actually enjoy his company. Oh. <laughs> speaking of our, speaking of my ghost friend, Cat. What? Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> Glad to see you in here. Mm. Um, well, I was hello. just uh, showing Marshy here around, one of our local residents, and well. They wanted to finally oh. properly introduce themselves to you. Hi. Oh. Um, I'm Marshy. Uh, we kind of saw each other at the party thing, but never really yeah, I remember know, that. talked much. Well, um, I'm Kat, but you probably already figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's nice to formally beat you, I guess. You too. <laughs> so do you, like, live in the library? Is that rude to ask? Um. No, I mean, I don't technically oh, live yeah. anywhere, but <laughs> um, that that's, you know, besides the point. Um, I mean, Justin here has been offering me, like, shelter in his house, so. Mm, I so found Cat sort of... over in the Orly Lighthouse, and well, uh, as shocking as it was to see an actual live ghost in the midst, I promised them that I'd find the reason how they passed away. Because, well, they're here for a specific reason. And, well, since they're staying here with me and everything like that, my sister decided to assign them to the library. They're not exactly, exactly. bound here. They just like to watch over it in Apollo's absence. Mm -hmm. So you don't... Yeah. You don't know what happened? At all? Mm -hmm. Not even, like, the slightest clue unfortunately no her memory is very very scarce of those times and well i guess you can say everybody's memories are scarce about these things because we're still trying to find the answers as to what happened to the old, old world as well mm -hmm. and unfortunately the gods won't exactly tell us that answer there's only so much they can tell us so it would we're be too own. easy if they just told us the answers it would be too easy and also they told us that sometimes we as mortals cannot fathom the knowledge that they give us. They want us to find the answer, but when we do, we're not going to ever really like it, unfortunately. That's exactly what my Uncle Hades told me and everybody else. <laughs> World's full of questions and we're all trying to find answers, but... In the meantime, I guess we should really just get to know each other. And, well, this library is definitely one of the things that gets us a little closer to that. Yeah. There's a lot of people have came to this library. Mm-hmm. People... There's a lot of stories here. So I noticed there's, like, prayers and thingies. Do people come here to pray? Yes, of course. They call upon the gods for knowledge, advice, even sometimes to gift them. You don't exactly need a prayer book, though, to summon them, but... If you want an immediate answer, it's definitely advised that you have them. But there's shrines all across the world. Hmm. Specifically, there's shrines here for Demeter and, well, there's also the Oasis Shrine, which is next to the Poseidon's Peninsula. And, well, <laughs> you can summon any god over there. But again, don't waste their time. They, yeah. <laughs> they could be rather... On the god's bad side. <laughs> yeah. They're rather... Uh, Creative with their punishments, I'd say. Oh. Yep. <laughs> but why would you want to do that to begin with? After all, they provide a lot for us. Exactly. We need them as much as they need us. Wouldn't exactly be standing here right now if the gods weren't there to... No mercy. Mm hmm In the meantime, though... I can show you around a little more, and looks like your little doggy came in here as well. He finally oh, made it which, down. Which is fine. Hello? Oh yeah. It's fine for you. You haven't to been be louder, have you? No barking. <laughs> Sometimes he doesn't listen <laughs> to me. I'm sure my father, who's the new king of the gods, will accept this. <laughs> After all. Aww. After all, my father is the. Uh, well, god of the wild. Oh. Speaking of him, level six is dedicated to Hermes and Pan. Pan being my father. Hermes is the god of travel and trickery. If you haven't seen him before, he kind of transforms into multiple things. Just because he likes to goof off about it. Oh, now that you and there's that, also Pan. You, I don't even know if I have seen him. I could have one of you could be him and I wouldn't even know chicken that is queen. true chicken queen could be Hermes and I wouldn't even know <laughs> more or less maybe <laughs> Hermes is the god of trickery like I said and well Pan over there is the god of the wild like I said 
But moving on to the next level, which is level 7. This level is dedicated to Poseidon and Zeus, the god of the seas and the oh. god of the sky. Chicken queen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting dog name, I will say. He really likes <laughs> he likes chicken, and I don't know where the queen came from. I, he just likes it. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, one heck of a name, but <laughs> hey, honestly, anything goes in the new world. But if you ever want to learn anything about the god of the seas or the god of the sky, and, well, lightning themselves, then this is definitely your level. And then veering away from all of the Pantheon gods, we have Olympian Tales, which has everything to do with the Olympians to begin with. Oh. And well, from here you can actually get a, an amazing view of this amazing Lear statue that was made. It is really pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's that same quote again, know thyself, nothing in excess. But yeah, there's some interesting tales that can be found here as well. I think specifically we had a new one brought in, which has to do with, uh, ah, Narcissus. That's a very interesting story. I've read it. Then last but not least, veering away from the Olympian tales is the Chthonic tales. This has everything to do with the Chthonic gods or the Chthonic beings, which if you don't know who they are, they're basically deities and beings from the underworld. Oh. So people like Hades and Persephone. Yeah, there's some interesting tales over here as well. Sisyphus cheats death, Orpheus and Eurydice. And that's there is that's uh about all there is to see. More and more books are getting added here and there, and well, eventually this place will be filled. A vast archive of knowledge and accurate history. Preservation of the gods. Hmm. <laughs> it still is a shock to me that the gods do exist, but honestly, this is one of our ultimate ways of respecting them, is at least telling their stories. It's a little hard to believe in something you haven't really seen before <laughs> now. Well, again... We need them as much as they need us, and that's very, very true. So, anyway, you guys have an, to have any recommendations on something to read? Hmm. Well. Hmm. I do say Orpheus and Eurydice is a really interesting story. It's a little more on the sad side, but it is a very interesting story nonetheless. Hmm. What about you? Hmm. Well, honestly, I can recommend a lot of them. I've, Can't pick I've a spent favorite. most of my time here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I've spent a lot of time here and I've just been going through the books. <laughs> well, here's a copy of Orpheus and Eurydice, and remember to stick by the rules. Mm -hmm. You read that here in the library and then you return it to where you got it from, which is over there. Trust me, these things are labeled. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, feel free to give it a read. Mm -hmm. yeah.